The process of publishing a new book is a labor of love. And while it is incredibly fulfilling to watch your book baby go from a mere vapor of an idea to an actual book you can snuggle up on the couch and read, this process of publishing is oftentimes exhausting. <laughs> A few years ago, when I released my debut novel, 100 Days of Sunlight, I learned just how much time, effort, and patience goes into sharing a new book with the world. This time around, I wanted to be more mindful about the journey, to take time to enjoy the process, savor the little moments, and romanticize even the most mundane parts of the process. So today I want to take you behind the scenes and show you how I've been finding joy in publishing my new book, The Other World. I mean, I just wanted to take notes for like future character names because so many of them were so going to be So I'm just scene. watching, yes, watching the premiere, watching the comments coming in. Hands on it right now. You can't. You have to wait till September 9th. And I'm so excited oh my gosh. about that. But Love you guys. More details on so I just finished premiering the cover reveal video and I'm super, super excited to do that because it was really amazing to be able to watch in real time with you guys. The cover reveal was so cool, was so hype. And I just was, I was like sitting here literally like doing a happy dance, but also crying because <laughs> like all the wonderful, amazing comments that came in on the live premiere just Thank you for all the wonderful praise already for this book. It's it's so encouraging and it really means the world to me. So it's a really exciting day, but I also have to get some technical work done on this book. So it's June 1st and I've not done any formatting and it's time to break into the formatting stage of things. I need to start formatting the paperback and the ebook. So as you guys probably know, I use vellum to format my ebooks and vellum is this amazing software um, that you can use to create beautiful ebooks. So if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I've talked about vellum in the past. And the reason I love this program so much is because it makes the process so easy um, to format an ebook and to put all those little aesthetic touches in that make it really look professional and make it super functional and um, responsive for different ebook platforms. And I actually have a whole tutorial on my channel, on my YouTube channel, on how to use Vellum. So if you want to embark on this with your own ebook formatting, I will link the video in the description box below this video. <laughs> Okay, formatting update. This is day three or four of formatting. <laughs> the ebook is always much quicker to format because uh, Vellum does most of the work for me and that is all wrapped up, ready to go. And now I'm working on formatting the paperback. I've had a lot of requests for a class on formatting, a special masterclass all about how to format a professional looking print book, whether that's a hardcover or a paperback, making that interior of that book look absolutely gorgeous and aesthetically pleasing and professional and have all those little details that make you open a book and be like, wow, this is impressive. This looks like a traditionally published, you know, professionally formatted book. Believe it or not, it's easier than you think to do it yourself with Microsoft Word. So that's what I'm going to do right now. That's what I'm actually in the process of doing with my book. And what I'm doing for you guys is I'm filming a masterclass while I do it. <laughs> I know it's like kind of ambitious, but you know me, that's why this microphone is set up behind me. Um, 
I'm going to uh, pull that over here in a second and continue filming because I did a lot of filming yesterday and I'm excited to do some more filming. Basically, I'm showing you guys behind the scenes my entire process, how I take my unformatted Word document of my manuscript and turn it into a beautiful, professional looking book that you would not even be able to tell it's indie published because it looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, showing you guys step-by-step step how to do that. And I'm really excited to release this masterclass out to you guys. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be another step in your publishing journey and another step in the larger scope of my story university in the indie publishing side of things. So I'm really hyped to bring you guys along on this process. One, two, one, two, one, two, ready to go. First things first, what you're going to want to do is delete the first indentation of that first paragraph. So you'll notice every, every professionally published book, the first paragraph of a chapter or a new part after an ornamental break or a time break will begin without an indentation on that first line. So it just makes the text a little bit more uniform and it looks more professional. So make sure you do that to the beginning of each chapter and to the beginning of each paragraph after a time break. This past June was my virtual writing retreat, a challenge I do every year on my channel with you and the rest of the Writer's Life Wednesday community. 30 days of writing tailor-made to suit our own unique individual goals. So there is no set word count to achieve, no strict rules or benchmark of success to meet. This retreat is all about finding comfort in writing again. Some of you had super ambitious goals, others had more relaxed goals, like the intention to show up every day and write something, even if it was one sentence. As a writer, I think it's so important to set aside comparison and focus on the joy, the things you truly love about writing, the reason you have this passion burning within you to create, and simply bask in the practice of creating the same way you might savor your favorite comfort food or enjoy watching the sunset. It sounds so simple, but shockingly enough, joy seems to be the first thing we lose when we start pressuring ourselves with deadlines and word count goals. This past June, I reflected upon those ideas and came to the realization that what my soul needed was to simply write from joy, to write whatever I felt like writing whenever I felt like writing it. Usually I pursue a really ambitious project and overcommit to things. So during this particular season, I decided to use writing as a form of self-care. No deadlines, no lofty expectations, just me and the empty page. Like it used to be when I was a little kid and couldn't wait to get up in the morning and return to my stacks of notebooks and markers. Instead of scheduling writing time into my calendar, I named those events Creative Playtime and chose to be happy with anything I created. Every expression of creativity is a treasure to be cherished. It's all art, and art is meant to be appreciated, not measured against unrealistic ideas of perfection. I consider June's writing retreat a success because I can look back at that month and say, I wrote and I enjoyed it. So something really, really, really exciting came in the mail yesterday and you'll never guess what it is. Okay, you're, you're totally gonna guess what it is because I've been talking about it this entire time. <laughs> the paperback. 
Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. I, I could not stop myself from opening the box. I was going to do like a unboxing reaction thing for this vlog, but I had zero self-control. <laughs> But here it is, guys. It is here, it has arrived, it is beautiful. I am absolutely in love with the way it looks, the way it feels, just this is the thickest book I've ever written, so it feels heavier. <laughs> it's like really nice to hold though. It's not one of those books that's like an arm workout to hold. It's actually like really nice ergonomics to this book and the spine is beautiful. Look at this beauty. Look at that spine. Look at how gorgeous that back cover is. Like we have this kind of mysterious fog shrouded scene with one of the characters, I won't tell you who, sitting on the dock looking out over the water and the moonlight in the background and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay, but this is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> this is the moment I've been waiting for. Look at that, look at that. It's very subtle, but it's one of those things that like you might not even notice. Well, you're gonna notice it now because I told you about it, but <laughs> somebody might not notice until you're like sitting there with your nose in the book, reading, 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 and anybody who sees you reading it will be like, hey, that's a butterfly. What? What? That's so cool. And then immediately want their own copy, of course. <laughs> it's. Oh, it looks so good. I'm really happy with how it looks. I'm really happy with the chapter formatting, just the, the headers and the style itself I'm really pleased with. I also did these cute little time breaks. I don't know if you can see that, but the little time break is like a compass, which kind of has a theme throughout the book, so every little detail matters. And of course, the compass is in the O on the word world in the title. The journal pages too came out so good. So there is a segment in this book where Orca finds Adam's journal when she finds his stuff washed up on the beach. And I did something kind of fun with the journal pages. I wanted them to feel like you're actually opening the journal and seeing his handwriting and his sketches and doodles and all the little characteristics that make a journal feel like it has a personality of its own. So I wanted to bring that into the book formatting itself. And so I did background paper texture and doodles in the margins and it turned out really cool. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Um, coffee stains, arrows, smudges because you know he's like a mechanic so of course he would have dirty hands while he's touching this journal <laughs> and it just came out really amazing i'm really happy with how it came out it looks and feels like you're actually like paging through the journal with orca which is exactly how i wanted it to feel so i'm super happy with that so i started proofreading yesterday and i got up to page 100 as you can see that's that's not very deep into the book, so I have to do some more proofreading today. In fact, that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing today is doing a few publishing things and proofreading this book. That being said, by the time you watch this video, the book will be available for pre-order. So if you want to claim your own copy of The Other World, whether it is paperback, hardcover, or an ebook format, Click the link below this video to find it on your retailer of choice. So it's going to be available everywhere books are sold online, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, all the other online retailers. The link will be below the video and you can click that and grab your copy of The Other World. So I'm going to try to enjoy this process as much as possible and just have a lovely relaxing afternoon. I'm gonna make myself some tea and cozy up in my cottage core space here and enjoy reading the other world one last time. As I snuggled up on the couch with a cup of tea for my final proofread, 
I was reminded of all the cozy, soft, whimsical vibes I infused into this story while writing it. I strongly believe that every writer should write the book they want to read. And for me, this is the kind of book I want to read. A book with passionate, flawed characters who make mistakes, but who ultimately change for the better. A book that feels like a warm, comforting cup of tea on a rainy day, or like wearing your softest sweater while watching the stars. A book that makes you believe in love and forgiveness, and maybe even destiny. That book, for me, is The Other World, and I can't wait for you to invite this story into your life. I hope it gives you all the cozy, nostalgic vibes and reminds you of all the beautiful ways your life makes a difference in this world.